have you can't waste as many shots in three on three. All right, I mean it's up pace, but it's still patience. All right, so if you do lock down that rebound, get it out top, find your advantage, and make sure you don't waste a shot because if you waste a shot within a split second, they take it up, they get a score. I think that uh, basketball is getting back to the basics. Uh, three on three is a big part of it. Um, my father taught me, and a lot of the um, young elders, I mean, uh, of the elders in this area when I was young, they taught me the basics. You know, and I was fortunate enough to play professionally, fortunate enough to play on the national team circuit and play against countries. Um, so whenever people ask me, you know, how'd you make that move or how'd you do this, it, it just it basically comes back down to basics. So I'm excited to be a part of this, this federation because three on three, um, everybody can play it, all right, and every level. And if you're really looking to try to get to the next level in anything, whether it's high school, college, or try to be professional, you're going to need basics and you need to do basics well. All right, so I think for this area, it, I'm excited because these kids are hungry. Um, there's a new arena where you can actually, you know, broadcast yourself as a young kid. I would love to be a 16-year-old nowadays where I could just throw a video up. And, and then you can really critique, your, not just for attention, you can kind of critique your game. So five and five tournaments, you know, you got 12 guys, some guys don't even play. Three and three, you got four guys. Now you're going to see what your strengths are and your weaknesses. So I think it's good to build as an athlete, as a ball player. But this is just a ball playing area, so I think it's just exciting to have it around. Basketball, sports based, multicultural, you know, community. So I think this is just perfect. Mr. Burgo has an outstanding uh, facility here. Um, he opens it up to these kids, and and I think that three on three is a way to show and prove. You know, you're out there on the island, you get to play one on one, basically, and like you get to put your money where your mouth is. And in summertime, that's what it's all about. You know, street ball. Um, showing, showing, improving, and, and kind of getting ready uh, for the winter, and, and, and you get to see who put the work in. Our tournaments August fourth through the sixth. So like, if you didn't put work in all summer, it's gonna show, you know. And if you did put the work in, it's gonna show. So I'm excited because we got a lot of young kids that are anxious, you know, to, to, to show what they what they got. That weekend's always been something in Bristol County. You got the feast, um, you have tournaments, you have um, just cookouts, all right? So it's just, it's community-based. Right, people are already talking about how they're gonna go back and forth from the feast, come back and hang out here. Sunday, we're ending it early, you know, by, by three or four o'clock, so you guys can go see the entertainment. And like I said, multicultural area, it should, it should, it should be a, a great weekend. And hopefully, you know, these kids can take something after that, because we used to have a three-on-three -three out here, and where we got our names at, and then we took that confidence into the into the off season. I mean, people are hitting us up from Texas, LA, all over the place. You know, it's a networking thing. But I think we're taking advantage of the internet and, and true networking. I, the scope of it when we first sat down was like, these kids gotta play. All right, so, and, and the game's getting crazy. So let's get back to the three on three stuff. It's crazy how uh, FIBA's uh, taking control of it. Um, Ice Cube's bringing in his pros. So, but what it all comes down to, it's gonna be sustainable because it's, it's, it's three on three is basketball. So, I mean, we already, already got works to do it next year. Hopefully we have the big thing here this year, but you know, the sky's the limit for this. And, and you know, we've got a lot of help from college kids and, and ball players. And, and it's, it's just exciting to be a part of something. Cause New England, if you look at it, Massachusetts right now is doing their thing. They got a lot of pros, all right? They got a lot of guys in the NBA right now. And they got a lot of kids in college. So these kids need something to look up to. And it's not just about getting 50 points in a five on five AU game, all right? It's about being able to break down your offense on one side of the court and if there's an advantage for your big guy, get it to him. So I'm excited.